The Wild West, sometimes known as the Old West, was a period in the late 19th and early 20th centuries when thousands of pioneers pushed their way westward in quest of land, better lives, gold and silver, and occasionally to lead the law. So here are 40 vintage photos of the shocking Wild West, including the life of the early settlers. This fascinating period in history is so mysterious yet alluring that even today, pop culture is filled with references to the Wild West, such as gunslinging cowboys, swinging saloon doors, and dastardly outlaws. Now let's get straight into the video. This photo shows Homestead Act settlers outside of the farmhouse in 1862 after the act was brought into effect by President Lincoln, providing 160 acre farms to citizens who would live on them for five years. The next picture is from 1894 and shows shopkeepers and customers lined up along the storefronts on Broadway Street. The town was first established in 1893 with around 8,000 inhabitants. This picture shows how a birthday party used to be around 1900 in Minnesota with afternoon tea and probably lots of fun and laughter. This photo from 1867 features the Gold Hill Mining Camp in California, which was the site of one of the first discoveries of quartz gold in the state. The next picture is from 1895 and proves that the age-old stereotypes of frontier towns were quite accurate in their portrayal of western towns being filled with burly men who frequented saloons for their social activities. Speaking of saloons, this staged photo has managed to capture the scene right before a brawl. This would be rather commonplace in a men's saloon during the early 1900s, during Alaska's Klondike Gold Rush. Here is a photograph from 1915 showing what a typical saloon and gambling hall used to look back then. The interior is filled with all the elements needed for unwinding, getting into trouble or testing a person's luck by betting some money. This photograph was actually used to advertise the performances of talented sharpshooter Annie Oakley in the late 1800s who used to be a nationwide sensation. Annie Oakley rose to fame after winning her first sharpshooting competition at the age of 15. She wished to introduce women to the world of sharpshooting, and in this picture from 1918, she can be seen teaching women how to handle a gun. This photo was taken sometime in the 1860s, showing Native American and African American cowboys who were paid as cowboys to round up wandering cattle after the Emancipation Proclamation. These were just the starters for the show. Keep watching as we have special collection right here onwards. A pioneer family is pictured in this 1890 snapshot at their ranch close to Elfrida, Arizona, where cattle farming has played a significant role since the 1690s. Up next, we have this picture showing a family of pioneer settlers posing next to their covered, horse-driven wagon, which was taken in 1886. Early in 1910, this picture was taken in the Great Plains in the Midwest. It shows a claim shack a building that was partially walled by tar paper, these shanties were hurriedly constructed to establish legal ownership of the site and to let visitors know that the property was privately owned and not suitable for farming or mining. Here is another exhibit of a claim shack which used to act as temporary living structures while the actual horse was being constructed. In the frame of this snapshot from the early 1910s is a woman carrying a baby in her arms. The picture shows General John Charles Freeman with his family and friends standing in a circle at the Santa Cruz Grove of Big Trees, holding each other's hands to demonstrate the circumference of the trunk. He was an American explorer and a politician, and was the US Senator from California. The photo was taken sometime in the late 1800s and shows a family outside their ranch. People flocked to the west when the east coast grew crowded because the land was cheaper, suitable for farming, and allowed people to start over. The frontier village shown in this 1903 photograph is a quintessential representation of one. It provides a glimpse of Tamapa, Nevada's bustling main street, and the townspeople can be seen going about their daily lives. Next up, we can see a pair of men driving a stagecoach drawn by a team of six horses through a rugged landscape. Before steam-powered trains were introduced, stagecoaches were extensively used and would make their scheduled stops at stage stations. This photo from 1867 has captured a group of prospectors posing with their equipment before their attempts to find gold in the Northwest. Although very little gold was actually found in the Northwest, the arrival of California prospectors brought about more urban development in the area. The photo was taken from a scene of early western, but it would be quite effective in giving you the idea of a romanticized version of the Wild West by showing horsemen chasing a train. The following is a portrait of a Navajo Indian mounted on a horse by the Monument Valley Formations. When European settlers arrived in the West, some Native Americans joined ranches to support their families. 
This picture was taken at a Wild West saloon in California in 1890 and shows a few cowboys from the Wild West, along with the barkeep. You might be able to spot some advertisements from Budweiser and Schlitz, brands which are still popular today. This image shows a race in the Cherokee outlet 10 seconds after the pistol goes off. The photograph was taken in 1893 and depicts a large number of men on horseback galloping over an Oklahoma field. The female gunslinger named Big Nose Kate wasn't just an outlaw, but she was also married to Doc Holliday. She helped him escape from jail by setting the entire establishment on fire. If that's not love, what is? The Wild West wasn't just about gold mining and castle farms, as this photo from 1905 aims to prove. A group of fruit pickers from the Covina Citrus Association are seen posing with their orange baskets. Which one do you think was the most shocking? Wait, there is much more to see! In this snapshot, we can see a few participants of the California Gold Rush sifting for gold and water at the Snake River in Idaho. Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show, a series of traveling shows that romanticized American frontier life, was popular throughout the Old West. The showrunner was named Buffalo Bill, who was a scout and a bison hunter. The next picture shows Bob's Saloon, one of the most popular establishments during the early 1900s, located in Jordan, Montana, and owned by a cowboy named Robert Levitt. This picture has captured a couple whose status was no less than that of celebrities back then. Pawnee Bill was a regular in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show before he launched his own act. His wife, May Lilly, was known as the greatest lady horseback rifle shot in the world. In this photo, a group of cowboys are seen relaxing with a drink and a short conversation with a bartender at the saloon. This photograph was taken in Old Tuscosa, northern Texas, in the year 1907. This is a photo of a sod shanty in California taken sometime in the 1880s. This sizable family of five is posing in front of the South Dakota house while homesteading on the Great Plains. In this 1880 snapshot from a small rural town, a wagon train is seen traveling down the main street. This 1897 photo shows a mining camp in Nevada, which eventually earned the title of Silver State because of its large amount of silver deposits. This young man toting a firearm is none other than Jesse James, who used to be one of the most notorious outlaws of the Wild West. Rose Don, alias Kimaron, is another legend from the Wild West. At 15, a romantic relationship with George Bitter Creek Newcomb introduced her to his gang of outlaws, and she later set him up for a huge bounty of $5,000. Next up is a portrait of Charging Thunder, a Native American and Lakota chief who joined the crew of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. This picture shows the popular outlaw Billy the Kid, born as Henry McCarty, who became famous for killing at least eight people at a very young age. This photograph was taken by W. H. Illingworth, who is a famous British photographer. General Custer was an officer of the United States Army during the Indian and Civil Wars, and the photo shows General Custer's men crossing the Dakota Territory. This old mission church in New Mexico was established way back in 1630, and still stands as a reminder of the Spanish colonial era. The final image is a photograph of the Wheeler Survey Group, led by Captain James Montague Wheeler. The topographic maps of the southwest were created between 1869 and 1879 as a result of their surveying excursion to the western United States. That's all for this time, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to the channel for more such content, and we'll see you with a brand new video.